In God's eyes, everybody has value and worth. We must realize we are God's creation and He loves us. He has also given us great potential, a purpose, and a plan for our lives. Even if you were conceived outside of marriage, you are not an accident. The Lord tells us through His Word. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. It's written Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. Yes, he loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn you. Once again, Jeremiah 31 verse 3. The first step in finding his purpose and plan for your life is to go to him. The way to God is through His Son, Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 It's that simple. But for many people, that's just too simple. Most people feel that they're not worthy and therefore do not want to go to God or cry out to Him. Others are simply blinded by pride and don't even realize it. And that is the fallen nature of mankind lying to you. The truth is that you are God's precious creation and He longs for you to come to Him. For some strange reason, some people think that they can work or earn their way into heaven. Or some kind of way, feeling that they have to qualify to get on God's good side, thinking they are entering into heaven. That is not God's way, and it will fail. God tells us clearly that He loves us. He then tells us, all have sinned and come short of the glory. Yes, all of us at some point were lost in sin and separated from God. Yet while Jesus was on the cross, he counted it as a joy set before him to die on that cross. For my sin and your sin which separated us from him, Jesus, and God the Father. So if you didn't know, yes, Jesus has made a way back to our Heavenly Father. Now just get, get, get it! Take note, take note.